are Kim and Roger Lepre. And we chose Sago Home because we just loved the floor plan and the way that it um, was gonna work for our family. I started looking about a year ago, we were thinking of moving out of our home and doing something like a town home and kind of was just pulling up things myself online, not really going through a realtor. And started seeing this one realtors, when I put in information I was kind of looking for, um, he popped up, Chaz. Walker. Walker. And um, he, I, so I just would go to his site all the time and look at homes. And these were the place, this is the place that had the coolest townhomes, honestly. And, but my husband was just so not on board moving, you know, out of our house. We lived over on the east side, up kind of by Wasatch. And he, that's his area he's grown up in, lived most of his life and he just never considered really it way over here. And I wasn't from here, been here for about almost 14 years now, but it didn't really matter as much to me, although I loved it where we were. But it was it was kind of the area that had the cool townhomes. And so when I finally convinced him to come and look, one look was all it took. When we yeah. drove into daybreak, into the community, we both just went, wow, this is so cool. We want to live here. And the whole time our house was being built was townhome because we got in a pretty early stage. We would come out here because my mom also bought out here at the same time she saw, she saw it because we came and showed her and she goes, I want to live there. So we moved her out here too. And the whole time that we would come and look at her, we'd go, can you believe we're going to live here? This is like living on a vacation resort. You know, so just has a really, really good energy. There's, there's just something about it that's so unique that's incredible for us. For me, it's by far the views and the the big windows and to to look on each end and see different parts of the city and by far and and I love the height. You know, where you can look out and over the valley and just love the views. Yeah, this this main floor is just yeah. so comfortable you know we got the kitchen and dining and the living room where we look out we look out at firefly park and the mountains across the way and um we just we love having this great room area we like our bedrooms upstairs we've got that flex room works for we have a daughter with some disabilities so bringing her in with a wheelchair is perfect for that downstairs. I mean, that that was kind of a, a clincher. For sure. We needed a main floor bathroom with a, or bedroom with a bathroom. And the only way you ever found that was the master. And then we would have been in one of the little bedrooms upstairs. And so to have that work yeah. out that way, that we could have a really nice little suite for her with the bathroom connected and everything, and then um, still have a master bedroom for us also, was we didn't find it in any other town home. Yeah, mo yeah, exactly. The, the way we, at the very beginning, which is really very odd, because we came out here like a year ago and talked to Sandy, not even knowing anything about who, the builders, who they were. We just drove in one day, stopped in, and we were way beyond not even looking per se. But it was very interesting that we came back full circle and found those guys again. We thought, hey, we, we know you, and she remembered us, and which I couldn't believe it. But um, when we came in and we saw, we would look at other properties, different builders, different stuff. But like Kim was saying, when we saw the flex room, there was a, there was a home that was already built that a guy was living in that we went through first. And we walked through and thought, hmm, this is kind of, kind of works, kind of cool. We called, the Chaz called Brooke and, and, and said, hey, we've got a couple more we're building on the other side. And we went over and looked at those. And they were very on top of things. They knew they knew their stuff, which which helped a lot. And so did our build, our, our realtor, which helped a lot. He, he he lives here, he knows he knows the area. And so he, he called Brooke and said, hey, they're really interested. And he says, we have one left. And it was this one. And we jumped right on it that day. Yeah. yeah, we hadn't even put our house up for sale no. yet. And we went home, listed it, 
uh, that was the Saturday. It got on the market Tuesday and sold Tuesday. So, one so day. we were, this just, it just came together so smoothly. We felt just like this was where we were supposed to be. Yeah. And th they really, you know, everybody was helpful when we, yeah. the day that we looked at it, you know, Sandy and Brooke went through things with us and then we came back a couple of weeks later to look in the design center and pick out all of our stuff and you know they knew their stuff yeah. um, we loved the different options it was so fun to pick out everything to go in the home and we luckily we got in at that stage where we could and um, and then Jaime the overseer of this project um, he was great he would you know we stopped by a lot, <laughs> a lot peeking and stuff. And yeah. he was, he was just great to answer any questions and to, um, help us with any of the needs that we felt needed to be addressed. Yeah. He, he was really good about timetables too, being realistic timetables, which is good. I mean, which really worked for us. You know, it's like, if it's going to be three weeks, it's three weeks. If it's going to be four, tell us and then we're okay with that. And that he was really good about that. He, he was, matter of fact, when we, even when we were met with him originally, they said a specific day and he said, no, it's not going to be that day, which was good. That was fine. It didn't, but he was, it's helped me a lot for, for kind of that kind of personality, but he was very open and very realistic on timetables. It helped out a lot.